Yo guys, what's going on? Kyle with the card guys. Joined with Angel How's it going, of, the, of the card guys. Uh, we actually just got done with the Pokemon League Cup here in Warner Robins. And you took something that you've been testing for a while. And I know you had a lot of fun with playing. And you ended up top eight. We made it. It was fun. We took the young and the powerful Raichu. We took Raichu. We had Lieutenant Surge with us. He was our spirit animal. We ended up, we ended up getting fourth place. It was really awesome. We're just gonna get into this real quick, and we'll talk okay. about the rounds after. Okay. So Pokemon, we of course had to play four Pikachu's. It is like it's the pretty one. Yeah, it's the pretty one. It's the one you have to play. You play this one so you don't prize them. It's the best Pikachu. Then we played three Raichu. I tested four, and it's not that I think it was bad or wrong. It's just there was too many times where I found myself like having too many Raichus, and it was just really bricky because it's like you're ideally mostly gonna play with two Raichus throughout most of your games, and then the rest of your games you're playing with Urgatry or Lele as your next fighters. So three Raichu tends to work out really well. You just have to cross your fingers you don't prize it. What do I do? Then uh, we have for our draw Pokemon, we have Warren Guru. He actually goes really well. I never use Psychic, but in testing, I did find myself using Psychic. He's like mostly your like safeguard killer. So in testing, I, again, safeguard killers, he was really good. But today, he was just for Instruct, and he did fantastic. To my surprise, no one ever targeted him down, so I was drawing for days, which was really awesome. And the new addition to the deck, the card that made the deck really, really good, is Hachirisu. So the Snuggly Generator for one Lightning Energy, you put lightning energy from your deck to all the Pokemon on your bench that have Nuzzle. So you just play Bridget, get a bunch of Pikachus, Snuggly, get three energy. It's really, really awesome. Super fast. Makes the deck a lot faster than it would have been before. And then you just hard attach on one of the on one of the Pikachus after you evolve to a Raichu. And then you just start going off and you start doing 100 plus damage a turn. Then we have two Tapu Leles. So when it came to Lele, I tested three for a while. But the big problem with it, the big problem that it happened with Tapu Lele was you want one like to for obviously for Wonder Tag, but you also don't want to have this weird moment where your bench is like plugged and clogged and you can't use it anymore. Like you have to be really like meticulous with the bench in order to like route all the waste for game. So most of the time you're only gonna have one Lele on the board for the entire game. So you mo tend to play with like an actual four bench because one is always gonna be for Lele. So the third Lele just never was able to come up that much. And then one of my favorite cards in the deck is Ergotry. So Flashing head makes it to where if a Pokemon has a special energy, it can't damage him. I came up huge in a couple of my rounds because people were playing Zorak and they had a DC on it and it just couldn't touch it. And then uh, second attack does 100 damage. They mill the top card. I actually came up and I made my, my opponent was down to like six cards in their deck or something like that. Like he milled out, he milled out so many cards, it was hilarious. And then Lightning GX, I get a look at their hand and take one of their cards in their hand and put it a prize. That was really big. Most of the time, you use it to make their prizes go back to odd numbers just to bring them to a very weird and sometimes a very hard to control game state. It just depends how they're playing it. But for the most part, Lightning Jax is really good hitting key energies out of their hand. A lot of times you just, like, if you play against, like, DCE decks, you just, even though you have this, you just don't want to risk Uzma, so you want to hit the DCEs out of their hand. Or key supporters like Anne, Cynthia, Sycamore, all those good cards. So you just want to make sure they don't have any of them, so Lightning Jax is always just a fantastic attack for that. Um, Pokemon wise, there was, I don't think there's a Pokemon I would want to change. I really like the lineup. Like, don't get me wrong, there was one round, round three, that was super unfortunate. I prized both the Pachirisus, but that only happened once, and it really didn't happen a lot in testing. I couldn't believe when it happened. There was a really low chance for it to happen, but we'll keep figuring that out. For items, we played one Palpad, relatively new in the game now. You shuffle two supporters. Well, it's not new in the game, but it's back in the game. You shuffle two supporters from your discard into your deck, and it's awesome. It just lets you play with extra copies of all your cards. Mm -hmm. Then one super rod. This was mostly for to make sure you just never run out of energy. We're like a power plant, always pumping all that electricity. One of the big things I found myself doing a lot was you'd use super rod, put back Zergatries, and then like mid game you play a Bridget if you don't need to draw cards because most of the time your hand will be a really good size anyway. So you use Bridget, get your Zergatry back out, and then like keep stunning them with it. It's really, really good. Then um, one another card was Ye Hammer. So I kept going back and forth with one, two, or zero of this. And I ended up using one today. 
I think I might go up to two, but I'm not 100% sure. This is like a really delicate flex spot that I have to keep testing to make sure it's right. But today it was really good. It came in a lot of handy. Then there's one float stone. So the big thing when it came to float stone, it's not that it's a bad card, because it's not. Because we played switches in the deck. I just didn't want to give people's field blowers too much value. I wanted to make it to where if they're field blowing me, they're getting a one for one and not a two for one. I wanted to get two for two for ones off my field blower, but I didn't want them two for one me. So I didn't use float stone a lot. I actually might take it out and just put in the third switch. The switch was fantastic. The big thing with switch is you just don't want to use your play, pay your retreat costs. You just want to make sure you have as much energy as possible on your deck or on your board. So you just never want to retreat. You just want to keep using switch. Preserve all the energy you can and just keep using powerful spark for giant numbers. I think the biggest powerful spark I did today was 200 or 230 technically because I had a choice man. It was insane. Then there was two field blowers. I tried three for a while and it's not that it's bad. It, it was good at three but it's really matchup dependent so I just wanted to be really wanted the safer number of two in the future I might go up to three but again really flex spotty have to do a lot of testing and figure out all the numbers to make sure it doesn't conflict too hard I know this isn't really a conflicting card we just have to make sure the deck doesn't like start flowing wrong without with too many items sometimes but field lower is really good hit all those bursting balloons because we're not taking 60 damage of course, yeah. um, next is three choice ban I, t I started with four and it's not that it was bad but I just wanted to put in other cards in the deck, like E-Hammers and Pop Pads, so I ended up cutting one of the choice bands. It was perfectly fine at 3 today. Yeah, I had no problem with it. It did great in testing at 3, and it did great today at 3, so that was it was fantastic. It was a great card. And then, one of my favorite cards, item-wise, is... Max Elixir, this card's fantastic. I started, when I first started working on the deck, I was playing without this card, and I wanted to see if you could play without it, and the more I played without it, the more I wanted it, so then we just put it in, and it was a fantastic card all day. I I went nine for 12 today with it, so I actually had fantastic luck with it, which was awesome. And then one of those, of course, cards everyone has to play is for Ultimate. Card's fantastic. And supporters, oh, rip. Supporter-wise, played two Guzmas, uh, originally started with four, then went down to three, and then got to two and put in Pop Pad and found two is just a really fantastic number. It's not that you don't use this card all that much, but most of the time they're not one-shotting anything on your field, so you have tons of potential to two-hit everything, especially when you have a lot of energy on the field, so Guzman's just, he's just really good to like get you out of sticky situations. Then two Sycamore. So Sycamore is interesting now that Cynthia's a card. It's not that he's bad, it's just we don't want to discard the energy, we want to make sure we keep all our resources. So he kind of fell back a little bit, but he's still a fantastic card. I sycamore for seven, or like without, with zero cards in hand, like probably four times, and it was really nice. He was really good. Um, then three Cynthia's. It probably would be four if I had a fourth, but I'd only own three. So I just played three. She was fantastic. Fantastic addition from Ultra Prism. And then another card was three Bridget's. So I started with one, then went to two, then went to three, and I just love three because I just oh, never prized it. And the chance of prizing is extremely low, and we just never want to prize this card because we want to open Pachirisu, play Bridget, get a bunch of Pikachus, and then Snuggly Generator, and that's just like your, the clean turn one, so we just always had to have it, so I just never want, always wanted to make sure we could do it. So Bridget was fantastic. And then one of, probably one of the best cards, and as long as he lives, he's king. He's just amazing. And then the last card, last cards was 14 energy. So the energy number has been going back and forth. You can ask all my friends. I'm constantly going back and forth with this number. I'm still not even sure 14 is the exact right number. It wasn't bad for me at all today. Sometimes I wanted the 15th energy. Sometimes 14 was a little too much, and I was doing way too many energy in my hand, and I wanted more in the deck. So we're still testing out that number. So this isn't the final number at all, but today it worked out really, really well, and I had no complaint with it. Okay, awesome. What about your matchups? You said you were gonna go over those. So round one, I played against a Glaceon Zork. I, it was weird. He opened he opened Eevee, and I was thinking, I was like, okay, maybe it's like Espeon Garp. And then he puts a Water Energy. I was like, wow, this is interesting. I'm actually gonna see it. One benefit is the only like actual Pokemon that have abilities is that it could stop is Zergatry and Lele. So as long as I didn't need Lele, I was fine, which I didn't in that game. I had a really commanding hand to fight through, and I got Pachirisu off, and then the next turn brought out Raichu. 
and proceeded a two hit it and it was fantastic and then once we killed the Glaceon he couldn't establish another and all he had was Zorg so I brought up Zergatree and Zorg all he had was DCs left and so he just couldn't do anything and we just Zergatree beat him down for game. Round two I played against a Bursting Balloon Garbage or Zorg deck and I got in that winning I'm pretty sure the whole Did time. he? Yeah. Yeah he, he was good. I felt it was just a really unlucky hand for him. He just opened all tools like it was all tools and Garbodors. It was insane. I couldn't believe it. He like his basic was Lele and he got to a Zora Zrua and I had Pachirisu and Bridget loaded up a Raichu play and then Raichu just knocked out both of them. Like I Guzma had killed the Zerua, and then the next then the turn after I put another energy and had choice band to use Thunder to one shot the Lele for game. It was really unfortunate. Then game, um, round three was a fighting deck. Worst matchup possible. Jesus, you just crossed your fingers you dodged that deck. I was really happy we didn't run into it until round three. And it was really unfortunate. Probably both the Pachiris made the matchup incredibly hard. We ended up losing that unfortunately, but it's a really rough matchup anyway. And then round four was Fire Ho Ho. Um, that's inherently a really good matchup for the deck, just because we hit Ho Ho for weakness. So it wasn't that hard. He ended up doing a. He ended up losing my Pasha Risu late game instead of my Orion Hero. And so I was able to just one, manually retreat the Pachirisu and go for a Thunder for game on his Turkinator. And then the last round was last round was ID. And so we made fourth place. And then top eight played against fighting. There was only two fighting in top eight, and we got paired up against it. It was really unfortunate. Let me know next time there was a couple out. fire decks too that we could have played, and that would have been great because then we would have made top four. But playing against fighting, game one, my prizes weren't bad. He just opened a really strong. Plus he was playing fighting, so it's already inherently. Really Really bad. Then game two I had a really solid opening hand, and I ended I late game ended up down to one, and that one card ended up being a Sycamore. Yeah. So that was really unfortunate. So he ended up winning that completely. But on the plus side, we had an absolute blast. We did what we wanted to do. We wanted to make the dream come true with Raichu, and we did it. It was a blast. Of fun. Tons of fun. Awesome, enjoy, hey, bro. Congrats on. Uh, a good finish and top in, in the League Cup. I know we've taken a small hiatus from the game, and so getting back into it, I'm glad you kind of just came out playing against really good players and ended up, you know, having a really good showing. Um, any shout-outs you want to give or anything like that? I'm going to do shout-outs to the card, guys. Best team. We want to shout-out the sponsors, K&K. &K. They're fantastic. They're always a great, great group of guys and girls. They always help us out like crazy. Our, their stuff is going to be in the description, so be sure to check that out as well. We're eating um, guys. So. Buy stuff. We have a discount code actually. It's TCG5. Uh, TCG5, guys. Yeah. Make sure you take advantage of it. Fantastic code. <laughs> but yeah, we'll probably see more of you very soon with other oh, yeah, card 100%. games as well. 100%. But yeah, it's been called Angel Card, guys, and we'll see you guys later. Peace.